Hello coders and welcome to another Unity Think Training tutorial. As always, we're going to talk about last week's problem and how I solved it. I'm going to give you guys a new problem to solve for the upcoming week and then I'm going to send you guys off with a think tip. Okay? Um, so let's talk about last week's problem. Here it is. I have a cursor on my screen that I can move with my mouse. I want to be able to shoot projectiles in the direction of my crosshairs or facing with relation to the position of my weapon and we're going to assume the weapon is always in the center of the screen. All right. Now as always I want to remind you guys that if your problem or if your solution differs from my solution uh, that doesn't mean that you got it wrong or anything like that. Okay. There's a lot of different ways to solve a problem like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at what my solution looks like. So I'm going to maximize on play here. And all I can do is you can see I have a little cursor texture and all I do is I click and my uh, projectile will actually move out towards the position of my cursor from the position of the sensor of the screen. Okay, and to prove that it's actually moving from the sensor of the screen, I will uh, let you guys look at it from the scene view here. And you can see that uh, it's always coming out from the center of the camera here. Okay. So that's what my solution looks like. Uh, and let's take a look at the code required to pull something like this off. Okay, so I have three main scripts. We have the cursor, which is going to handle drawing the cursor texture. We have the weapon, which is going to actually give us the direction our projectiles are going to move in. And then we have the bullet, which just handles moving the bullets, the projectiles, in the proper direction. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Okay, here's my cursor. Now, if you want to draw, be able to draw a, a particular texture on the screen at your mouse position, this is how you do it. Uh, you'll need a reference to your cur uh, cursor texture. You'll need a size for your cursor, and then you just say on GUI as a method void on GUI, and then you call the GUI draw texture method, which accepts a new rect. Okay, and then you'll actually give it a texture as the second parameter. But this rect is going to get the essentially the current mouse position and we are subtracting cursor size divided by two from both the X and the Y so that the the cursor texture is actually in the middle of the mouse position okay so that's how you do uh, that's how you draw the texture at the cursor's position uh, at the mouse's position okay so here's our weapon our weapon is going to accept a game object parameter which is actually the prefab for our bullet because that's what our weapon can shoot and then I have a weapon location, so where's where are the bullets coming from? And then I have this ray for aiming, which is going to give us the 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 origin and the direction that the bullets are going to be spotting in and moving towards. Okay? I initialize my weapon position to the transform dot position. Now this weapon is going on my camera. Uh it's going on my camera's object. So by saying weapon location equals transform dot position, it's ensuring that the the uh, the the location of the weapon is always going to be in the center of my screen because the position is in the center of the camera. Okay, and you guys saw that whenever I was actually uh, shooting, you guys actually saw the bullets coming out of the camera's position in the scene view. Okay, now how do I set my ray? I just say aim equals camera dot main dot screen point to ray. This is a really common function. I believe we actually used this in the last uh, problem as well. So. Um, You'll be using this method a lot uh, if you're using mouse click game. Okay, so that's a that's a common mechanic. Okay, now I use this debug draw ray uh, just so I could make sure that I actually change the name of that. So I actually I, I use this debug draw ray so I could actually see the direction that my projectiles were supposed to move in. So if we if we do this draw ray and we say that the uh, the the starting point is the origin of the ray, and the we give it a direction for the the draw ray, and then we give it a color. So if we call this line, I'll actually show you guys what this does. And all it is, it, it was me checking to make sure that the bullets would be moving in the correct direction. So if I run this, check out in the scene view over here, you can actually see my ray. Uh, pointing in the, the direction that my mouse is in. I'll zoom out so you guys can see this a little bit better. So you can see as I move my mouse on the 
on the game, you can actually see in the scene view there that green line is moving around towards the position of my my mouse. Okay, so if we're looking at it from this, you can this direction, you can actually see it a lot better, and you can see that the bullets move right along the green line there. Okay, so debug draw ray, debug draw line, those are really useful tools that Unity provides for us um, that I would recommend using when you can. Okay, and then I say in the update function for the weapon, I just say if we get the key up, so if get key up, key code dot mouse zero, that is left click, so anytime the left click button comes up, um, we're going to instantiate the bullet, we're going to initialize the bullet's position at the weapon location, and then we're going to access the bullet script. Um, we actually create a direction variable on the bullet script, and we set that equal to aim dot direction, which is the ray. Okay, so let's take a look at our bullet script. This is actually going on the bullet prefab that gets spawned. Um, I initialized the bullet speed to 150, which is a pretty natural looking speed, but I actually reduced it to 10 for this tutorial's purposes, so you guys could actually see it clearly coming from the center of the uh, camera's position. Okay, and then all we do in this is we say we update the transform's position by saying transform.position plus equals direction, which is the, the, the variable, the vector 3 that we modify from the weapon uh, script. So you can see here that that's what we're doing here. We're setting that bullet's direction. We multiply it by bullet speed times time dot delta time. And that's all we do. It's a really simple uh, system composed of three scripts, and the end result will yield something like this. Okay, so you guys saw how that worked. All right, so that's that was last week's problem. Let's take a look at this week's problem. Okay, so here's this week's problem, and I'm going to be out. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do a tutorial next week, so I, I decided to give you guys a slightly more complicated problem. You guys are going to have two weeks to do this one. Um, so here it is. I want to ghost an object on my cursor. That just means that we're going to have an, an object on the cursor's position that's sort of faded out a little bit. So we're going to ghost the object on my cursor, map the object to the terrain as I move it around, and place it on the ground with full opacity. So we, we remove the fade aspect of it. We, we spawn it with full opacity whenever I click. Okay, so that is this week's problem. Let's take a look at the think tip for this week. Okay, so drawing out an idea or a word web helps you think about every aspect of a problem. So you want to consider each aspect of every problem to yield the most robust solution. So a word web, here's an example of a word web. The main topic is Halloween, so I'm going to think of all the things that relate to Halloween. And I can map, off, I can map different words off of um, subsequent words. So I'll say Halloween, I think of candy. I think of candy, I think of candy corn, or I think of uh, a lollipop. Uh, other things off of Halloween, I think of costumes. Okay, so you, you create these word webs, and they help you think about every aspect of the solution that you need to create. Okay, and I'm going to send you guys off with that think tip. Good luck on uh, this week's problem. Again, it is a little bit tough, so we uh, I'll give you guys two weeks to do that one. I'm actually going to be out next week. I won't be able to do a tutorial. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.